the German Shepherd, the all-purpose dog. Now we're going to get into this breed and also its characteristics. But before we get started, hit that like button. It helps this channel bring more videos like this to you. And oh yeah, subscribe. And I'm your host, Ali A. Park. The German Shepherd originated in Germany in 1899. There was a German cavalry officer named Captain Max von Stefanitz, and he set out to develop the ideal German herding dog. He began by crossing various strains of breeds from the northern and central districts of Germany, developing the ancestors of the German Shepherd we all know and love today. And Max von Stefanitz also co-founded the world's first club dedicated to German Shepherds. He promoted and refined the breed for 35 years. Even though these dogs were originally bred for herding sheep, they are used for a multitude of tasks today. They are known as an all-purpose dog, being used as CNI dogs, search and rescue, police, military, therapy, herding, and more. German Shepherds are one of the mo most smartest dog breeds, and they also in excel in speed and agility. In the 1900s, they became popular in the United States because of movies like Ren 1010, where there was a leading dog as the main character. And today, the German Shepherd is the most preferred dog by police and military all around the world. Now, the German Shepherd is part of the herding group. Its temperament is courageous, confident, and smart. The height for a male will be between 24 and 26 inches at the shoulders. For a female, between 22 and 24 inches at the shoulders. Their weight for a male will be between 65 and 90 pounds. For a female, between 50 and 70 pounds. Their life expectancy is between 10 and 17 years. Now the bite force of a German Shepherd is between 238 and 291 PSI. Now these are very affectionate dogs when it comes to their family. They're great with kids and they're, mm, they're just okay with other dogs. Now these are excellent watch dogs and, and protection dogs. Now if you plan to get a pup, make sure your pup is at least 8 weeks old to be sure they get all the nutrition from their mother's milk. Now good breeders will screen for degenerative myopathy, elbow and hip dysplasia, and these dogs can also suffer from bloat. Now recommended health, health tests are a hip evaluation, an elbow evaluation and keep a lookout for blow. Now when it comes to their coat these dogs do shed but their coat is fairly easily maintained. All you need to do is brush it a few times a week, keep their nails clipped also and give them baths as needed. Now this is a very active dog breed and they need lots of exercise. So keep this in mind if you plan on getting a pup. Well that's all for today. And until next time, go have fun with your new pup. Goodbye.